The first extended trailer for Pixar's Cars 3 just dropped, and it teases some intriguing things for the second sequel in the Cars franchise. In this video, I'm going to take a look at some points you might have missed in the extended look trailer, as well as some Easter eggs which might impact the Pixar theory for Cars. The trailer kicks off with the same scenes from the teaser which saw Lightning McQueen end up in a serious crash that sends him spinning through the air. The new trailer also shows the crash from some different angles and with some crucial differences. As the trailer begins, you'll notice it's actually daytime, and if you look carefully, you can't really see any fully animated faces in the spectator vehicles that are looking on. The colours are muted, everything has been dulled down, and you don't see any faces in the onlooking RVs. There's also a heartbeat and breathing sound over laid on top of the action, and all of these things together point to the fact that something beyond the obvious is going on here. Okay, let's jump forward to later in the trailer where we see the crash from another angle. The crash happens at the Los Angeles International Speedway in both of the scenes, but here it's actually nighttime with the racetrack lit by the stadium lights. Also, the onlooking spectators and RVs are properly animated with proper cars, faces and eyes. So, why the difference? Well, it seems likely that the first crash scene that happens during the day with a dulled and grey background is actually a dream sequence or flashback that Lightning experiences later in the movie. We know that after the crash, Lightning has to retrain with Cruz Ramirez to find how he's going to get his form back, so this could be a nightmare that Lightning suffers during his recovery process. There are also some nice teasers to what we might expect from Lightning's recovery, including a couple of new looks and paint jobs. During his crash, Lightning is still sporting more or less the same look from Cars 1 and the beginning of Cars 2, with his classic Rusty's logo on the back. But in a later scene where he visits an old disused speedway track with Cruz Ramirez, we can see he's had a new paint job. He's now got a sort of souped up, much larger Rusty's logo on his side and another on his back end. He also has Lightning McQueen emblazoned in bright fluorescent letters just above his side windows. And later in a pit stop scene, the Rusty's logo has changed again, reducing back down in size but still different to the style from the first two movies. Jackson Storm is clearly the new champion on the block, and we can see him collecting an award, presumably the Piston Cup, and all the while Lightning is looking on from the corner. His number looks like 20, but the design has inserted a small point between the 2 and the 0, which feels like a subtle reference to the fact that Storm represents the upcoming new generation of race cars, so he's kind of version 2.0. And also the symbol on the side of Jackson Storm is appropriately enough based on the international hurricane symbol. It's been tweaked and stretched and color match with his other blue colours to give him a sleek look. The trailer also flashes through some of the tech that is powering the new upstart racer. These screens show how he can change his tyre pressure according to track conditions and also which racetrack he's on, and he's also perfected his skills and speed with access to a racing simulator. There's a neat by and large easter egg which you can spot as a track sponsor at one of the speedways, and this could be a further clue that ties the Cars franchise into John Negroni's Pixar theory. Remember, BNL is the corporation in WALL-E that basically enabled the pollution of the planet and sent humans away from Earth while it's attempted to clear it up. The Pixar theory suggests that Cars takes place after humans leave the planet and before a time hundreds of years later when the events of WALL-E take place. And the presence of by and large as a corporate sponsor in Cars 3 shows the corporation is still very much active on Earth at this time. There are some other new sponsors teased in the trailer too, including the Grand Ole Oil Company and Frostar Air Filters, while Dynaco is clearly still the sponsor of the Piston Cup series. And there's also a new Thunder Hollow Speedway where there seems to be some pretty full-on Mad Max style racing going on. So far, neither Lightning's trusty pal Mater nor his girlfriend Sally have appeared in any trailers, but the characters are confirmed to appear in Cars 3 and were included in footage shown at the Detroit Auto Show. So guys, what did you think of the extended look trailer? Were there any other easter eggs you spotted and what do you think about the look of Lightning's new rival Jackson Storm? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, do please hit that thumbs up button, share and subscribe. And you can check out more of my Pixar videos right here on Cars 3, Finding Dory and Inside Out. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yippee-ki-yay, movie lovers!